हेलो एवरीवन सो टुडे वी हैव क्लास ट्वेल्थ केमिस्ट्री क्वेश्चन पेपर सेट थ्री क्वेश्चन पेपर कोड फिफ्टी सिक्स फोर थ्री सो लेट्स बिगेन विद द सेक्शन फर्स्ट फर्स्ट सेक्शन फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन राइट रीजन फॉर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट बेंजोइक एसिड डज नॉट अंडरगो फ्रिडल क्राफ्ट रिएक्शन यस द मेन रीजन फॉर दिस इज बिकॉज बेंजोइक एसिड इज अ डीएक्टिवेटिंग ग्रुप ऑल्सो Uh, AlCl3 and hydrous AlCl3 used in the re reaction of Friedel Craft is a Lewis acid so it reacts with benzoic acid to form bonds second part oxidation of aldehyde is easier than that of ketone uh, the main reason for is that cleavage of carbon carbon bond in ketone is very difficult to break also you can write that uh, there is more steric hindrance in ketone as compared to aldehydes moving to question second observe the given figure and answer the following question uh, what is the charge on agi colloidal particles the charge will be negative as i minus ions are absorbed second part what is the reason for the origin of the charge on agi the main reason reason is preferential adsorption because of preferential adsorption charge develops on agi particles third is If Ki is added to AgNO3, what will be the charge on AgI colloidal particles? Uh, if uh, Ki is added, means AgNO3 is in excess. So here the charge will change and it will become positive. Third question: CH3 whole thrice CCHO does not undergo aldol condensation. The main reason is because it does not have alpha hydrogen attached to this uh, carbon. distinguish between acetophenone and benzophenone with the help of chemical test we can distinguish between them by aldo form test as acetophenone has cooch3 group attached to it so it will show positive aldo form test and chi3 will be formed which is yellow color precipitate moving on to section b fourth question observe uh, write the expression for the adsorption of gases on solid in the form of equation so equation will be log x by m equals to log k plus 1 by n log p what is the slope of the graph 1 by n the slope of the graph will be 1 by n and what does the intercept of line represents it represents log k here k denotes uh, the constant value which is uh, different at different temperatures for different ad adsorbate and adsorbent fifth question uh, write the electronic configuration of d4 on the basis of crystal field splitting theory if delta not is greater than pairing energy it means that uh, it is a strong field ligand so fourth electron will go to t2g level only so t2g4 eg0 Second question is CONS three six three plus is an inner orbital complex? Yes, because it forms D two sp three hybridization and NINS three six two plus is an outer orbital complex because it forms sp three D two configuration. Also, in a C, uh, here CO has plus three charge, so NS three will be a strong field ligand, but NI has plus two charge, and here NS three will act as a weak field ligand. third question write the number of ions produced from the complex from this complex pt ns36 plus and 4 cl minus so total in total 5 5 ions will be released or question uh, calculate the spin only magnetic moment of the complex fe h2o62 plus uh, there will be 4 uh, four unpaired electron so magnetic moment will come out to be 4.9 bohr magneton which out of the following two complex is more stable here co c2 4 3 3 minus is more uh, stable because it is a chelating ligand the uh, chelating ligands are those ligands which form a ring with the central atom and uh, as they form five membered ring it is more stable write the iupac name of the given complex the iupac name is diamine here double m is should be there diamine dichloride platinum moving on question number 6 write the equation involved in the following reaction ethane amine reacts with acetyl chloride so ethane amine reacts with acetyl chloride 
so it will form a C2H5 NHCOCH3 when aniline reacts with bromine water at room temperature it forms 246 tribromo aniline here you can see the structure aniline reacts with chloroform and ethanolic potassium hydroxide so it uh, it is a, a carbalamine reaction with CHCl3 and KOH and then it forms uh, benzene and C in our part write the IUPAC name for the following organic compound IUPAC name uh, of this will be N ethyl N methyl e, this will be first because E is alphabetically uh, ahead of M so N ethyl N methyl ethanamine write the equation for the following gabriel thalamine synthesis you can do it uh, with koh and rx it forms one degree amine and hoffman bromide degradation is used uh, uh, in rco nh nh2 with br2 and naoh to give r nh2 one degree amine now seventh question write reason for the following ethyl amine is soluble in water whereas aniline is insoluble because aniline has a very large uh, hydrophobic part Therefore, it is insoluble in water, whereas ethyl amine does not have uh, that much large uh, hydrophobic part. Second is amino group is ortho and para directing in aromatic electrophilic substitution reaction. But aniline on nitration gives a substantial amount of M nitro aniline. This is because uh, aniline on, react on nitration uh, in acidic medium it gets converted protonated to form anilinium ion and anilinium ion is meta directing and a deactivating group so a large number of m nitro aniline is formed amines behave as electrophile amines behave as electrophile because they have active uh, lone pair attached to them how will you carry out the following conversion nitro benzene to aniline it is a one step we will take snhcl or fehcl Ethanamide to methanamide will take uh, Br2 or KOH. Uh, it is Hoffman bromide degradation reaction. Ethane nitrile to ethanamine will do reduction either by H2 or nickel or LiAlH4. Arrange the following compound in the increasing order of their property indicated. So we have to put it in increasing order that is from least to the most. So here, in increasing order. So first of all, uh, in reactivity towards HCN, HCN is a nucleophilic substitution reaction. So the least will be acetophenone, then benzaldehyde, then acetone, and then acetaldehyde. It is based on the plus I effect. Second is acidic strength. It will be least in uh, CH3 whole twice CHCOH, then uh, in the third one ch3 ch br ch2 coh and then ch3 ch2 ch br coh third question is a uh, boiling point boiling point is uh, minimum for aldehyde then alcohol and carboxylic acid have highest boiling point because of more hydrogen bonding ninth question in ninth question uh, we can see that uh, uh, which ion amongst the following is colorless and why here we can see that uh, Ti is colorless uh, because it has D0 configuration. Why is Mn2 plus much more resistant than Fe2 plus towards oxidation because Mn2 plus has D5 configuration. Highest oxidation state of a metal is shown in its oxide of fluoride only justify because oxide of fluoride are most electronegative moreover oxide forms uh, multiple bonding that is P pi D pi bond which makes it much more uh, uh, which makes it much more possible for multiple bond formation. S uh, tenth question. Write the Nernst equation and calculate the EMF of the following cell at 298 Kelvin. Here, the uh, when we'll solve this, uh, the answer will come out to be 0 0.3305 volt. Question 11. Silver atom has completely filled d orbital in its ground state. It is still considered to be a transition element. Justify the statement. Because uh, in its uh, plus 2 oxidation state, silver has D9 configuration. So therefore, it is considered a transition element uh, even if it has a fulfilled orbital in ground state. Why are E, M2 plus M values of Mn and zinc more negative? Because uh, they have half filled and fulfilled orbitals which are more stable. Why do transition metals form alloys? Transition metal form alloys because difference between their... Uh, 
sizes is less than 15 percent moreover they can form uh, they have uh, a lot of electrons in their valence cell which makes them to form their small size and they have high ionization enthalpy these all conditions make it possible for transition metal to form alloy next is uh, which element in 3d series have lowest enthalpy of atomization answer is zinc why do metal of second and third series have greater enthalpy of atomization because they have poor shielding and so their size decreases and they can attract uh, the uh, valence electrons more easily why are enthalpy of atomization of transition metal quite high because they form strong metallic bonds due to more valence electron they have vacant d orbital small size and high ionization enthalpy question number 12 section c calculate the overall order of reaction here the overall order of reaction comes out to be 2 uh, what is the effect of temperature on rate of reaction? A rate of reaction increases with increase in temperature. After every 10 degree increase in temperature, rate of reaction almost doubles. What is meant by uh, rate of reaction? Rate of reaction is defined as change in concentration in unit time. Fourth question, a first order reaction takes place 77.78 minutes for 50% completion. Calculate time required. Uh, for this, the answer will be 40 minutes. Thank you.